guys! Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make monsters out of empty Kleenex boxes. I recommend watching the video all the way through before you try the project yourself so that you can get an idea of the supplies you'll need. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's start by talking about the items that you will need. The first item is empty Kleenex boxes. And I have the Kleenex boxes that are more or less cube shaped, but you can also use rectangular Kleenex boxes, as long as it's empty. The next item you'll need is paint, and you won't be able to do this project using watercolor paint. You will need craft paint, or I went to Lowe's and I picked up the sample sizes of paint, and they had a coupon that allowed me to get three sample sizes for free. And if your Lowe's is running a similar deal, I would recommend those three colors, get yellow, blue, and red, and then you can just mix them to create any color that you would want. If your Lowe's isn't running that special, um, I believe these cost around $3 each, and you do get a really generous amount, so you could save the leftover for future craft projects. Um, but that's an alternative to picking up craft paint at Joann's or Michael's. The next item you'll need is a paintbrush, sponge, or roller. You don't need all three, you just need one. If you are going to use a paintbrush, I recommend one with wide bristles, similar to this. I really recommend a sponge. These are extremely cheap at Lowe's. They cost less than a dollar each, so I think that would be a great way to save money on this project. You could also use a paint roller. I don't recommend buying a paint roller specifically for this project, but I happened to have one from a project I did last year, and you can buy these rollers. Again, they're really cheap, maybe a couple of dollars each, and you just slide it over the top and then you can use the paint roller. Again, if you already have this, that might be a good choice for you, but if you don't, you can just as easily use a paintbrush or a paint sponge. The next item you'll want is a hot glue gun, and you could use Elmer's glue or washable glue, but I love hot glue because it dries so quickly. Um, so either a hot glue gun or some kind of washable glue. You're also going to want some candy corn, and you'll see why we need candy corn. Now let's talk about the items that you might want. What that means is that you do not need these items to complete this project. I wouldn't go out and buy these unless you want to. Um, these are just things that if you happen to have them around your house, it might be fun to include them in this project. And those items are pipe cleaners, paper, crayons, markers, glitter, beads, and I didn't write it on this list, but maybe buttons, if you happen to have them around your house, they might be fun to use in this project. All right, let's go ahead and get started making our Kleenex box monsters. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is where I would be pulling tissues out, I'm going to go ahead and remove the plastic. So the next step is to start painting this Kleenex box and I'm going to be painting each side a different color so that I can actually make um, five different faces. I'll have one, two, three, four, five.
these dry overnight. And in the meantime, I'm gonna clean up the mess that I made. All right, everything is cleaned up. And like I said, I'm gonna let these dry before I do anything else with them. I'm going to feed the cat and we'll pick this art project back up tomorrow. My Kleenex boxes are dry and I have all of the supplies that I'm going to need to turn them into monsters. I'm just gonna show you how I do it. You can get ideas from that, but please don't feel like yours has to look exactly like mine. I like it when everybody's art project turns out different and unique. So let's go ahead and get started. So these are my completed monsters. I love how they turned out. I think they're super cute. They were really fun to make. I used buttons for the eyes on this one and beads for the eyes over here. The candy corn was for fangs and on this one I also used the candy corn to make corns. The pipe cleaners were for the antennae. And on this one, I also used the pipe cleaners to make the mouth on the back side. And the wings and the hands were just paper that I colored and then cut out. And I filled their mouths with Halloween candy. So I hope that you got some ideas for how you might do this project at home. If you do this project at home, please send me a picture. I love seeing your artwork. And if you're in my class this year, I love to post it to our Google Classroom so everybody can see it. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you'll try to make some monsters out of Kleenex boxes yourself. That's all that I have for you today, but I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.